Hello, hello! I have arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight. Horse enthusiast, I suppose. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Hello. Hello. Leos, tonight, you may have thought that we were going to play Ark Knights, and you may have thought that we were going to play Mika and the Witch's Mountain. However, I have bamboozled you. But yes, anyway, so we're going to be playing a different game. We'll get into that a little bit in a little bit. But yes, for now, the schedule. The weather is uh, not especially cooperative today. It seems, uh, but yes, it is in fact quite temperamental. So depending on circumstances, I don't expect to lose power. That seems unlikely, but stranger things have happened before. And yeah, anyway, so... That, eh. that being said, it is not unlikely due to the weather that we may have a poor or non-existent internet connection at some point. So the stream could end early due to circumstances outside of my control. But yes, beyond that, it might end up being a fairly short stream anyway. But yes, anyway, tomorrow's stream, we expect to be at roughly the planned time. But yeah, I haven't heard back yet, so I'm... I haven't heard anything otherwise yet, rather. Um, so I don't necessarily believe that the Friday stream is going to be the collab either. So that might have to resume next week. But yes, that being said, I don't know for sure that it won't be Friday, so we will see. Can't be any later than that again. I will be out of town over the weekend. And let's see, anything else to be said? Not a whole lot, I suppose. Did I say 9 p.m.? 9 p.m. Central Time for the Friday stream. But yes, and what else? Hmm. But yeah, oh, so most likely that will be most likely we'll do Mika and the Witch's Mountain, I think, if it's not the collab. Because yes, I do want to pick up and continue Mika and the Witch's Mountain. I don't know necessarily... Yeah, I don't know. I want to continue that, and I want to beat that game. But yes, this is mostly just sort of a thing that I decided to do on a whim, because the game happened to come out today. So, anyway. Getting into things... But yes, we are going to be playing Uma Musume Pretty Derby Party Dash today, as you may have guessed from the title. But yes, it's a party game of some description, basically. But yes, and it is based on the Uma Musume franchise, which is about uh, horse girls, basically. So, yeah, there's a whole, whole lot of stuff around that. There's a game, a mobile game. Um, yes, there is a mobile game, I should say. Now, there is another game, a non-mobile game, that we are going to be playing today. But yes, I know that there's a movie, there's two or so seasons of an anime, there's a few manga, I think. I haven't been keeping up with a whole lot of them, because a lot of them aren't officially in English. Um, yeah, I believe that other than the anime, at least one season of the anime, I think, is as an English sub, at least. So yes, so I think this is the first piece of Uma Musume media beyond that that has uh, been officially released in English. But yes, I often describe myself as a person who doesn't like gacha games, but I do, I don't know, I don't like gacha games or the gacha. I don't like that. But if I happen to like a game and it happens to be a gacha game, then it is what it is. I don't dislike games purely because they are gacha games. It's just that a lot of gacha games only don't ha don't really keep my interest for very long. But yes, anyway. So as for my experience with this franchise, uh, it is somewhat limited. But yeah, I've not seen much gameplay footage. I've not seen the anime or anything of that, anything beyond the game, the mobile game. But yeah, I have an odd habit of just, like, not watching the anime adaptations of things that I like. 
I've also not watched the Arknights anime. But yeah, I suppose it doesn't matter one way or the other necessarily, but... I feel like a lot of people, at least in the English-speaking world, are probably mostly familiar with this because of the anime. But yeah, which again, I cannot speak to in any real degree. But yes, I'm already noticing some frame drops, so it seems that, uh... Seems that the weather might be souring our connection a little bit. Um, and they're quite aggressive frame drops too, it seems like, so I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Tip. <clears throat> Alright, uh, it's getting worse. So, we might have to play this by ear, and if this continues to get worse, then we might, uh... I might have to call it early. Yeah, I was worried about this. Oh dear. Okay, I'm losing a full... <laughs> I just reset the counter and I'm losing a full, like, 70% or 65% of the frames. So, uh... I don't think that's a very watchable stream, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping to avoid, uh... Well, okay. Basically, I w what I mean to say is that I wanted to do the stream. I was aware of the weather, and I was aware that it would probably be a problem. But I wanted to do the stream anyway, and I decided, you know, if things got bad, then I'd probably just cut it there. But I was kind of hoping that I'd get to, you know, launch the game. <laughs> so... Well, at this point, you're probably not listening, because this is, uh, almost unlistenable live. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if this is really, really warrants going up on the VOD channel, but I suppose I might as well. Alright, we're now reaching, uh, we're now no longer dropping frames, or at least not, uh, okay, we're still dropping quite a few. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I want to play around the, I don't want to play around dropping, like, most of my frames, uh, just sort of intermittently, because the, st the storm is coming on. It is only going to get worse from here, so probably I should cut my losses. A little bit unfortunate, but what can you do? So yes. Um, anyway, horse, I guess. Um, <laughs> we'll get back to horse, uh, some other time. Probably I won't play it, well, I don't know. I'll Maybe I'll play it tomorrow. Things look like they've stabilized, but they did also look like they stabilized the last time I reset, and then they suddenly destabilized. Uh, hmm. Well, I did go a good chunk of time without issues in the sort of stream setup, so maybe, maybe we can get this to work for at least a while. Probably this is going to be a short stream, though, one way or another. Anyway, let's not waste any more time, and let's get to video games. Yes, my uh, controller's also acting a little bit odd. Here we are. Sci games. Sci games indeed. Arc System Works indeed. But yes, the combination of Psy Games and Arc System Works is not un unheard of to us. But yeah, I hope that the, the music isn't an issue, given that it is from a franchise. But yeah, anyway, I didn't really have a plan going into this. Again, I mostly just decided this on a whim because I thought, oh, this is a game that came out today. I'm streaming today and I'm probably not going to play Ark Knights today, so why not do something a little bit different? I don't know how much story there is to the story mode, but I suppose we'll start. Ah, it occurs to me that the, the horse that I had selected to uh, put on my desk is also not here. <laughs> Yes, 
The horses of the distant past. So yes, given the voice dialogue in this game, I'm probably not going to be have too much of an opportunity to speak during the story mode. I suppose I can interject here and there. But it would be rude for me to interrupt, so... Text is a little bit slower than the dub. Outmaneuver and outsmart your opponents in frantic duel in a frantic duel for dunks. Very nice. Yes, of course, we do need to be we do need to be courteous. Yes, I do like that you do get a little bit of a hint of the different characters' personalities just seeing them walk onto the stage. A name change. Unthinkable. Ah, very good. Oh, yes, the horse on the on the far left there is a horse by the name of Gold Chip. Oh, yes, she is the first horse that I became aware of from this franchise, and you will see that she is a bit of a bit silly. But yes, this team includes the horse that I had displayed on my desk. The one on the left there, Aston Machan. But yeah, I wouldn't go so far as to... Well, let me put it this way. I'm usually not good at picking favorites out of any given list. 
with a very with a very few uh, very few exceptions. But yeah, usually if I call something my favorite, it's it's for either I'm saying it uh, as a joke or I'm saying it because of some some specific reason. For instance, uh, Pokemon Emerald I count as my favorite game because it is the first game that I played that I enjoyed, and so it is the one that is most significant to me. But anyway. So I wouldn't necessarily say that Aston Machan is my favorite uh, Uma Musume character, but I do like her quite a bit. But yes, one thing you may you may know or may not know if you're not so familiar with with horse racing is that horse ra their race horses often have some very interesting names, such as Still in Love Here, and of course. Having inherited the otherworldly names of those actual racehorses, the characters also have those names. It occurs to me that I that I failed to pay attention to what the what the name of Daiwa Scarlet's team is, but that's probably the team that I'm going to go with one way or the other because it's the team with uh, the horse that I like the most on it. Alright, I hope you are all prepared. Alright, Slapdash Stories Await. Follow the exciting stories of each team. Playing through the story grants Tracen points and other rewards. So yeah, it's Tracen Academy. I don't... I don't know if they mentioned that, now that I think about it. I feel like they probably would have. But uh, Tracen Academy is the school at which this takes place. In preparation for the Slapdash Grand Prix, five Uma Musume have been chosen to represent Team Cosmos. They hear a rumor that the winning team gets to compete in a race overseas. Motivated, they begin training in earnest, starting with Hurdling Hurdles, one of the four events. The members of Team Frisia assemble together to discuss their overall strategy for tackling the Slapdash Grand Prix, but it becomes quickly apparent that not everyone is on the same page. Will the team be able to come together as one in order to claim victory? As foretold in the prophecies of yore, the four great generals have come together under the banner of the Golshi Realm to form an athletic team. In a valiant display of leadership, Symboli Rudolph faces the first of their challenges, a hurtling hurdles scrimmage. Five members have been chosen to represent Team Lily in the Slapdash Grand Prix. They may have vastly different motives, but they all share the same goal. Victory. To win, they'll need to train, and first up is Blazing Baskets. So yes. Hmm. I would have thought that these would each have sort of a... If they're going to have different ones at all, I would have thought that they would each have a different... You know, four teams, four events. They would each have a different first event. But, uh, only... Only... Yeah, not all of them mention one. I assume they all have an event that they start with. Otherwise, it'd be a very interesting story indeed. But yes, um, what was I saying? Something. Yes, I would assume that they would have each had a different starting one, but two of them have the same, and, and another one has one that is not, uh, mentioned. Interesting. But anyway, as discussed, Team Lily. <clears throat> yeah, that was perhaps the weirdest sip I've ever I've ever taken. Unbalanced in all things. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm reasonably familiar with some of the characters on this team, but Still in Love is one that I'm not especially familiar with. Yeah, as mentioned, I've engaged with this franchise mostly through the mobile game, and in that, uh, on that note, mostly through the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Through fan translations of the sort of character stories of each character. And of course, since they are fan translations, you know, not all of them are necessarily, you know, they're done by just people doing this in their free time. So not all of them are translated, unfortunately. But yeah, so Still in Love is a character whose story I've not seen at all. I don't know a whole lot about her other than just sort of having seen like some fan art every now and then. But yeah. The rest of them I'm somewhat more familiar with. Yeah, I, I guess I should, uh... Actually, can I hold down the... Yeah, it does say auto... Or actually, no, it says auto X. And I was thinking, yeah, X... Yeah, X is not uh, X, because it's not using, uh, yeah, it's, I'm using a PlayStation controller, and this is not using PlayStation controller inputs. But yeah, Daiwa Scarlet and Vodka are rivals. And I know Aston Machan has, uh, is sort of friends with both of them. Indeed they are. The character trait. The salient character trait. Yeah, I also don't know too, too much about Sweep Tosho. I do know that she likes magic, though. And Aston Machan is the world's most marketable horse. But, there's one more horse that has not been seen. It's the ever mysterious, still in love. The way that she phrased that worries me a little bit. Stealth expert horse. What do we know indeed? Yeah, I guess it's 
not uncommon for games to not have the uh, not have the text synced up with the with the audio here, <laughs> or not synced up with the the dub. It does feel a little bit odd in this particular case, though. I'm not sure why. It just throws me off a little bit more. So yeah, I don't know. I guess I think it's just that the text feels unusually slow. But yeah, so we do know that there's going to be a little bit of uh, team-based action in some of these events at the very least. Not a whole lot of synergy between the teams so far. Let us shoot some hoops, indeed. Oh dear, it seems that we're losing frames again. Eh. Alright, well... This might not... This might not, uh... Yeah. I might need to end this uh, sooner than I was expecting again. Hmm. I wonder if, if, if there is... Oh no, no, I do not want to skip anything. The unsurpassable Aston Machan. I apologize, Sweet Tosho. You may be a magical, magically gifted genius, but I am not, so I need to practice. Uh-oh. We shall indeed. The time has come to slam, and perhaps as well, jam. Dunking shall begin. So yes, this frame drop, or this, yeah, period of frame dropping, well, I was gonna say it wasn't as severe, but I do have, yeah, because, okay, because yes, OBS shows me the frames that I'm dropping as a percentage of all of the frames that it has uh, sent, basically, uh, but since I've been streaming for a while, then, you know, even if I were to drop 100% of the frames for, you know, a minute or so, if I've been streaming for an hour, that's still not... I mean, it's a high percentage, but it's not that high. It can be deceptively low. So, I think we're going to... We're going to do some dunking, and then we're going to wrap up quickly. Because, again, I don't think that my internet is going to be stable enough to have a really good experience here. Blazing baskets. Scramble for the ball and aim to score the most baskets, but be warned that this is no ordinary court. Steal and spin. Steal the ball from another player, or if you already have the ball, spin to fend off steal attempts. Hold the shoot gauge to display a fluctuating or the shoot button to display a fluctuating gauge. Release when the gauge is full for a higher chance of scoring. Special balls guarantee a basket if you can keep possession of them for long enough. Bonus balls double the points. These will appear later on in the match. Court gimmicks. Obstacles will appear on the court to increase the chaos and the fun. 
I'm glad that we're not increasing just one of them. Yes, so it seems that... Okay, we are picking a horse to play. Hmm. So yes. Uh, okay. A boom. This Ostagia. Sweep Tosho lobs a magical star that, lock, that knocks back surrounding opponents where it lands. Clear the way. Daiwa Scarlet stuns opponents around her, causing them to drop the ball. Read the word. Hashtag Machan. Aston Machan fires five beams in the fan pattern that stun opponents. I like to, I like to think that that's just a thing that she can do. I apologize, Tazuna. I'm taking some time here, but I need to learn what their skills are. No one else can have it. Dylan Love dashes forward, stunning opponents and stealing the ball. Front flip dive. Vodka leaps forward, stunning opponents around her where she lands. Well, I think we're going to start out with... Okay, so speed and stamina. Whoops. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, yeah, speed and stamina. Aston Machan doesn't have great stamina, it seems like. Hmm. It seems that Vodka just has a very, very good uh, spread all around. If any of these are... If the difference in color is to be believed. Actually, does this... That might be indicating that that's the one that we already have chosen, I think. Or the one that is chosen by default. Yeah, so far, our team seems to be pretty, pretty heavy into speed. At the very least, Vodka and Still have quite a bit. Yeah, sweep. Stamina. Oh, stamina and power. Stamina and power, okay. I'm guessing the the thumbs up is basically to say that this is the one that they suggest. Well, yeah, Machan doesn't have great stamina. I'm willing to go with their suggestion. Yeah, again, I don't actually know what those uh, icons indicate. バスケットダッシュステックス。どのウマ娘もやる気十分です。調子はかなり良さそうです。スイープ投手とても張り切っています。絶大な人気を誇りますダイワスターレット。その実力は競技でも見られるのかこの競技にぴったりのウマ娘
Excuse me, Stell, I would like that ball from you. Oh dear. Well, it might help if I were to aim it better. Thank you. Oh no. Oh. Alright. I don't know what you just did, Dyla Scarlet, but it was very impressive. Alright. Of course, we've got to go for the dunk. Very good. Alright, I don't want you to... Well, I was going to say I don't want you two messing around with the ball, but maybe I should have aimed it then if I didn't want them to interfere. Ah. Alright. No, thank you. Very good. Alright, we've got 15 seconds left. Do we have enough time? Well, not if we do things like that. Very good, very good. Nope. And no. Alright, alright, alright. We've got it, we've got it. And in we go. Yes, not so good at aiming that magic I am, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. We have achieved the achievement. Come on and slam. Very good. Ah, I've had my mouse on screen. Let's call it here for today, indeed. We do, in fact, have the power. Still, stealth skills are quite well developed. He is able to suppress her presence by sheer force of will. This is why, clearly why, I only put still, or not still, asked on Machan in during the, uh, on the desk. So we can build anticipation for her next arrival. Lingering in the dark. This is a skill that I am also able to use. Advantage. Well, it can't hurt that much, surely. So. Alright. So, with that, a little bit short, but it is what it is. It's not cool to go alone. But yeah, so it does seem that we can swap between the different stories whenever we feel like. So yeah, and since we can play through these, yeah, replay them as we see fit, there's a decent chance that I'll probably do at least some of this off-screen. Yeah, again, I wasn't necessarily expecting this to be... I wasn't planning on this being something that I would be uh, focusing on as a series. Mostly, I just wanted to play it. I just wanted to play it today. So, again, it is something I will likely pursue in my off time and perhaps show a little bit more going forward. But yes, so, before we have another lag spike, 
let us return to the room. For the return of Aston Machan. Yes, her... Yeah, I was thinking about trying to find an acrylic standy, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Asset. To, uh... Or like a base asset to place her on. Because as she is right now, she does look a little bit like she's just kind of, uh, hovering... Hovering in space without any, uh... Without any anchor in the material plane, which is a little bit odd. More memorable, though, perhaps. Anyway, so... This has been Uma Musume Party Dash. A little bit of it, anyway. Alright, I'm dropping frames again, so... Mm, I should probably wrap things up a little bit faster. Or maybe I should wait a little bit, so that way we can actually understand me when I'm talking. But yes, um... Yeah, it is... The prognosis is, in fact, not looking good. So... Yeah, I don't know. I think it's probably best to wrap up sooner rather than later, given the instability. We had a pretty decent... Yeah, pretty decent showing there. Pardon. We had a pretty decent showing there. But yes, one way or the other, though. So yes, not much else to be said on that. So... Yeah. But yes, the internet, or the internet issues have distracted me a little bit, so I lost track of what I was thinking. So, tonight has been Uma Musume Pretty Derby Party Dash. But yes, tomorrow, once again, is somewhat undecided. If nothing else, though, or if, yeah, if I don't see a strong reason to do anything else, and if the collab doesn't happen, then probably we'll be playing Mika and the Witch's Mountain. But yes, going forward, once again... We're... I'm not planning on making this a regular part of the schedule, at least perhaps not until we've done, or at least not until we're done with Mika and the Witch's Mountain, at the very least. But yes, I'm not planning on making this a regular part of the schedule, though it might return at a... yeah, in the near future, or a little bit of variety in between Arc Nights and other things. But yes, once again, going forward, I do intend to, when possible, do longer streams and to focus more on doing more Arc Nights in general, to sort of shorten the amount of time it will take to get through the whole story. But yeah, having reconsidered a little bit, I do think that, uh, yeah, it's probably not going to take quite as long as I had initially estimated, but, um, yeah, I don't know. It's still hard to say because I don't have a lot of good data. I don't have a lot of data that's sort of, uh, yeah, I don't know. I haven't been as focused on it, so I haven't been, uh, or I haven't been thinking about how long it was going to take at all up until now, so I don't have a great idea of, you know, now that I am focusing on it a little bit more, it's a bit hard to estimate how much of an impact that's going to have. But yes, so, anyway, I don't have too, too much in mind specifically for next week. We will see what happens when it happens. Um, but yes. So, if anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, I can find a target on my own. But yes. Once again, tomorrow's stream will be at 9 p.m. Central Time. Sit. But yes, I suppose... Before we conclude, I'm going to share a few more thoughts. But yeah, I do... Yeah. Yeah, I've liked the writing so far. It's been, uh, upbeat and fun. But yeah, I think... But yeah. It feels a little bit like, uh... I think, uh, well, okay. In general, characters in gacha games usually aren't super, super deep, unless they're, you know, main characters or something like that. But, uh, but yeah, I definitely feel like the characters are written in such a way that emphasizes their salient points a little bit more than you would see in the actual game itself, at least from what I am, uh, familiar with. But yeah, this is not necessarily like, a, yeah, this is not necessarily a problem, I would say. Yeah, this is just sort of a, a thing that happens a lot in adaptations like this. Yeah, for one thing, you know. Uh, yeah. It's in a slightly different medium. It's still a game, but it's a different type of game. So, of course, the writing's going to be a little bit different. And 
I think probably part of it, again, this sort of focus on, you know, making the character's most notable traits even more notable, is a thing that they do to sort of uh, make, make it easier for newcomers to the franchise to sort of pick up on, you know, what's this character about? It's a thing that you see pretty often. I think I've seen it, I've observed it most in like a crossover fighting games, wherein the characters, again, tend to be a little bit simplified from their, yeah, how they are depicted in the main series that they're from. Yeah, again, to not necessarily like mechanically, though that's also often true, but again, in sort of characterization and writing. But yes, I do wonder if we'll see a little bit more of the like more nuanced or I don't know, again, maybe not nuanced, but sort of the less immediately obvious aspects of the various characters as we go forward. Yeah, again, probably that will be me on my own time, and I'll sort of uh, bring this back when it uh, becomes relevant, or when it becomes, uh, when there's a good time to do it. Anyway, this has been a lot of uh, time waiting for a raid suggestion, and it doesn't seem like any have come, so I think we're going to pick a raid target of my own. And I think we're going to go and visit Sroka once again. Let's playing some more Valheim. Yes. Last time around, we saw them beat a boss, so they're probably into something at least somewhat new. Yes. Raid. Sroka V2. There we go. And I'm glad that uh, we didn't get any more dropped frames during all that time that I was talking. All right, so the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. And so, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you'll continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Let us get this raid underway.